if you are interested in any of the field whether it be like machine learning deep learning ar vr cyber security or artificial intelligence you can like easily explore that thing but like make sure to give proper time to your core subjects too For the past year at Inside IIM, we have been conducting one-on-one -on -one career coaching sessions as counsel, short domain-specific courses as master classes, and university-affiliated certificate programs. Now we are extremely excited to announce that we have a new home for all these highly rated programs in altuni.in. So if you are looking to earn a high salary, get a promotion, switch jobs, click on the link in the description or just visit altuni.in. Thank you. Enjoy the video and. Don't forget to press the bell icon to never miss an update. Cheers. My name is Anubhav Sena and like I'm a final year student at JP Institute of Information Technology Noida. My branch is uh, Computer Science Engineering and recently I have backed an Amazon uh, SD intern opportunity. Uh, it was an on campus opportunity and the intern will start from February. And if I brief about my college uh, years, what I have done, so I have done a competitive programming, open source development, and I was also a, like a head of a college society. So I have also uh, like conducted events in my college, and I was also a Google Summer of Code student in 2019. So when I jumped into my college, then I only started my coding journey. So during my first year, I you can say I explored languages like Python, C, and C++. I did a little bit of data structures, you can say like stack, queues, linked list, and did some problem solving on Hacker Rank 2 to get the good concept and basics of coding. So when I like stepped in my second year, so I started like uh, development. So basically, uh, like to be particular, it was web development. So I started learning that, and I also made few projects in Python so that I get a good idea, like what how the person does the development. Uh, and then after that, I was more excited to contribute in some open source organizations. So I looked for many organizations, but there was one organization which was named Opia Foundation. So it is an organization, uh, open source organization by the Google only. And the admin of the of, it, of the organization is uh, are the Google engineers. So I contributed in that uh, a lot. And after that, uh, in the end of my second year, I was selected as a Google Summer of Code student. Uh, under that same organization and then in the third year like fifth semester I was not much into coding like I was uh, more into college societies and all so but I learned a little bit of machine learning not much a little bit and I made few projects in it for the college uh, for the college major uh, minor and then after that uh, when the lockdown started in the March I like started learning data systems and algorithm again so that I can get a good command over that since the placement season was coming and in the campus from July, the uh, placement usually starts. So I started learning uh, data structures and algorithm again, and I did a uh, cooperative programming too. So I did around 40 to 50 contests on code forces and code chefs so that I get a good uh, grasp of cooperative programming. So for resume, like I have researched a lot. So first of all, I made my re first resume in the second year. So that I made on a website called Novo Resume. Uh, so that was a pretty normal resume, not very much uh, decent, but it was average, you can say. So, but gradually what I saw that I looked upon some resumes on LinkedIn. So LinkedIn is a good source where you can see other people profile in the resumes and you can improve that, improve your resume. So what was my strategy? Like I looked upon different uh, people, uh, people resumes uh, on LinkedIn and I learned about how they have structured the resume, what website they have used. So then after that, I landed on a website called Overleaf. So then I switched uh, to the Overleaf and I made a resume on that. And the few points which I learned throughout the resume making was that like just mention your projects, uh, like add their links to and add bullet points instead of making a paragraph. OK, like bullet points always helps instead of making a paragraph and give the links of your like competitive coding profiles if you have or you have backed some achievements and mention the rank don't just mention like uh okay participated in this competition participated in that competition mention the rank like i got rank five out of thousand people i got rank one out of thousand people or anything okay so i just want to like 
if if you are mentioning these numbers that will be like more uh, beneficial to you first of all uh, like there was one online coding online test uh, it was not only about coding it has actually four parts the first part was a debugging part so in that we had around 10 to 15 c++ or java programs to debug and the other was uh, like two coding questions it was like me- medium level questions not that much stuff and the other third thing was the there was a behavioral round uh, so it had around 40 to 50 qu- uh, questions based on some situations and you have to like uh, choose the option which you feel correct uh, for that situation and the fourth round was the aptitude round which had around 25 questions to solve it so this was the online test and the other thing was the uh, the interview rounds so those who were shortlisted from this round had two rounds of interview since this was an sd intern role so that's why it had two rounds the both the rounds were technical and main and like majorly data structures were asked if i say of a particular topic you can focus on more trees like in amazon like i have since i have heard like i have also seen like majorly trees are more focused so you can focus on binary trees binary search trees more i want to say in this is that like if you are interested in any of the field whether it be like machine learning deep learning ar vr cyber security or artificial intelligence you can like easily explore that thing but like make sure to give proper time to your core subjects too like data structures and algorithm or like this operating system dbms computer networks and oops because these are the main part of interviews as well as these will build your foundation for your computer science so uh, like in like i'll say explore all the fields if you want if you have find a field interesting like let's say if i find a field um, if i find machine learning more interesting uh, i can like learn that also side by side i can take my core subjects like data structures and algorithms and as well as the i have told other subjects alongside and learn these two so the amalgam uh, like the combination of both these things would be more good first of all what a person should do uh he should learn about the basics of coding like learn it, pick any particular language okay do some problem solving questions on it so that you get a good idea of that particular language then what you can do uh like you can pick one field which you feel is interesting let's say you pick machine learning or or any web development or app development then like learn uh like master master that skills and gain some good amount of knowledge in that field and then if you are like uh preparing for interviews or you are learning data structures and algorithm you can refer to two website which i was also uh, like referred uh those are lead code and geeks for geeks uh those i think are the best website but there are many other portals too uh, like interview bit is there techy delight is there if you want to refer those that's absolutely fine so basically you have to choose the platform which suits you the most so basically for me the lead code was the best so i you uh, like i solved questions on lead code and i had around solved 400 questions on lead code so at last i want to say that uh, just like do your hard work learn some good concepts in coding and at the last you at a moment will come when you will get your uh, job or internship and like i'll uh, like keep on doing the work keep on practicing on uh, different coding platforms and explore what is coding and what are different fields and like during the college years i would say don't build yourself only technically uh, other than build yourself overall like i'll say also participate in different college societies uh, conduct events in college so in that way you will learn a lot of things other than technical so make a combination of both and overall like you will gain confidence also at the last so i'll say like during the four years of college enjoy all the things as well as study also and for cgpa uh, one thing i would to say like for on campus uh, companies there are like uh, cgpa criteria so make a threshold cgpa ask from your seniors what they say about the cgpa like minimum cgpa make uh, try to uh, make cgpa above that uh, above that point and uh, uh, like try to make that your grade point above that cgpa and after that you will like you will be eligible for all the companies which will be coming mm-hmm.